Hey, what's going on, guys? Today we're talking about the best-selling cards in all of Yu-Gi-Oh. If I said it like that every time, how would that be? Uh, ten dollars, Zeus. <sighs> Zeus might get banned, though. Just keep, just keep an eye out. It's a very good card. Pearly's a really good deck. Zeus is really, really good. Oh, just be on the lookout. Um, ten dollars feels really good though. Really good value. Ground Zeno is actually getting interesting. Um, because when this card came out, it was like thirties for the longest time. I didn't think it was I would ever see it under thirty. Uh, but I think people are realizing, oh wait, Dinos are still not Misk is still at one, so Dinos are still not very good. If you can get this card for under twenty five bucks, so it's seventy five for a playset, you might want to pull the trigger. Um, Miss coming back to three, Dinos getting a little bit more support, uh, a Misk esque card, essentially a card to replace Misk. It's definitely a possibility. Uh, Cash Tier of Fenrir, uh, the ship has already sailed. If it comes back down to here because it's worried about the ban list, you could try to play the market and try to see what you can do because you know you get a play set for thirty. That's not bad, um, but I think it's I think it's I think that I don't think it's surviving another ban list to be honest. Um, like I don't know why they printed it. Like that that cards like these really frustrate me because you already have uh, Dino Wrestler Pancratops on the ban list. Why would you get like? Uh, why would you make a card very similar but like better right <laughs> they just do that all the time um i'm actually just gonna switch to cards because there was a lot a lot of packs there's nothing wrong with that but i just am not doing that today um quarter century rares ips i was talking about this on the um, penny stock market watch uh ip is uh, just a generically really good card and um, as long as Sprite is a good deck, and I think it will be. I, I, I don't think I think Sprite is going to enter the Tri Brigade category, um, or like Eldritch, um, where they uh, there are other decks too. But like they they being Konami in the TCG just don't ever hit it. Like they hit it, but they just like hit it, hit it. You know what I mean? Like they don't do what they did to Tier Elements to Sprite. Like you, I could see like Sprite Blue getting hit. But I think IP Mask Rain is going to always be relatively solid as a card. Um, even if Sprite gets it, though. Like, it's still a really good card. This stuff is starting to take off. Uh, sell, 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 sell. <laughs> like, people just get excited. People get overhyped. Um, I, you know, I don't... I, I try not to talk about other content creators um, in a negative light too much. But I will say that there are certain people who have a big influence on the market um and just like them saying get this stuff will influence the market um, because Yu-Gi-Oh is not big enough to where someone who is a market watch content creator like what I'm doing couldn't influence the market in some way like now me I have 250 subscribers right and most of my videos get like 100 views I'm probably not going to influence a buyout right but other and I'm not even gonna say their names but like other content creators who have thousands and thousands of subscribers could go like rescue race is gonna be really good and then all of a sudden like it's getting bought out and it's it ends up going up to the moon and then it gets like one top 32 at a regional and they say i told you so and people realize oh the deck's not that good um it's just how i feel i was i was wrong about pearly so if you, if you want to go there i was i'm not usually wrong off them but um i was wrong about pearly so if you want to go off of that, feel free. I'm curious about Theory on King Regulus because we looked at Lily as well as the Field Spell um, because it topped, like not just like topped, but it won on July 5th uh, WCQ. Also it topped here. I didn't realize it's the same thing. It was Earth Machines. One second. <laughs> Shout out Earth Machines. 250 bucks. 250 bucks, and they're running uh, Talents, which you probably do need to, oh, Talents is a really good card. Uh, double Theory on King Regulus, which you probably do need two of those. I'm trying to find a way to make this cheaper. It's not working out <laughs> for me so far. Um, yeah, this is this is super budget friendly because we're even running uh, Gozen and Evenlies. Um, we can run the Machine Kaiju, which is uh, cheaper because it's 3300 attack, but we can run it because we are running Machines. Um, 
I mean, maybe you could cut Triple Tactics Talent. I don't know for what, though. There's not like a lot. There's not, not a lot, lot of cards that are similar. But still, let's say you just buy this deck, hit this button. Have you ever hit that button before? <laughs> I've never done Let's just do this. Let's just see what happens with this. Because I'm very curious to see if it actually ends up being... I didn't think so. Um, I do have... Um, where'd it go? Not this guy. Uh, this. I do have this in here. So subtract 9 from this. <laughs> Um, so it's 470 bucks, but that's why when I mention I don't like buying decks from TCG player, that's what I'm talking about. Um, getting back to Ethereum King Regulus, um, fantastic card. Um, uh, if you're able to summon it, you should be summoning it. Um, a big reason I have like the gadgets bought out. The re big reason I haven't. Um, ran like honestly, like the Vernus stuff can some of this out. A big reason I haven't done the deck profile like Vernus Gadget, which I really wanted to do, uh, is because I don't have this card. Uh, but I might get it to be honest because thirty bucks feels like really good value on this card. Could it get bans because it's just so re like really really good generically? Yeah, but um, it could also hang out. It, it could also stick around. I think this is one of the cards that might get banned might not get banned i don't think it's good enough to be like it's definitely going to get banned at some point but it's definitely not bad enough to say it'll never get banned um so the theory on stuff because it just topped is on the move this feels like good value actually 17 bucks what we just saw yeah you can get a play set of light plays for 1750 uh a triple tactics talent for under 20 bucks feels really good um but let's see the most expensive version um, the secrets are 40s. Magnificent Mavens have finally caught up. Wow. How long does it take? Oh, it, it was there like almost from Jump Street. I mean, it, it, it was it was a little bit cheaper for a while though. And then now. Because it's triple tactics talent. Like, and, But this is, what's interesting about this, this is a good teaching moment because it's like, this card this version of this card they, they they went down to like 15 14 or 15 bucks this version of this card um just why did it just do that i don't know but um probably because of the reprint i have no idea why this card just no dove like that but anyway this card um also knows dove a little bit now it's starting to climb right back up to where it was before and that's just how some cards are like some cards that are as good as triple tactics talent um they're not gonna get banned um all versions are always gonna be relatively expensive so i could see this being a really solid buy i could see it getting a reprint but i just got one magnificent mavens this is the type of card though like dark ruler no more uh, pot of extravagance um call by the grave monster reborn harpies where it could get a reprint in a um like just randomly in like the red dragon arch feed structure deck will just randomly have triple tactics talent i don't know anything but like that's just an example right of of the potential reprint spots for that card um what are you doing <laughs> i don't know um droplets 10 bucks on droplets well 12 feels good actually feels good this is though another good teaching moment just be on the lookout for a potential power creep right because because this card is like a better version of chalice i mean chalice doesn't have to discard but other than that chalice is worse um because chalice gains attack this cuts the attack chalice only hits one monster this cut targets multiple monsters chalice can be responded to this cannot right so you could look at a card like forbidden droplets right and i'm sure we all know what forbidden droplets does but it says send any number of cards from your hand and or field to the graveyard choose that many effect monsters your opponent controls until the end of the turn their attack is halved also their effects are negated and your in response to this card activates your opponent can activate cards or effects of cards with the same original type monster spell and trap as the card you sent right hard once per turn chalice is actually not a hard once per turn um so that's another thing that chalice has over it but anyway um you read a card like that and you go, no way, no way that Konami could power creep that, right? So, 
it's fine. Let me get my play set of triple tactics talent for 10 bucks, right? But you just, or forbidden droplet, excuse me, for 10 bucks. But you just don't know. Like, you, you just you just don't know what's going to happen with this card um, in terms of, I don't think it's going to get banned. Could get a reprint. But what I'm talking about is power creep. Like, there could be a new card that comes out that does what trip that does what forbidden droplet does but just better right uh infinite permanence used to be a seven dollar card right so like just keep on the lookout for that um odds are though it's going to be ten dollars for a while right same with this like it's gonna be like 15 to 10 for a while i know that's kind of a big gap but still um is this stuff going down oh <gasps> Pearly, no, what happened? Um, I think like, I, I don't think I've ever said this. Well, I have called this a goodbye before. Like, but look at this. This is what I'm talking about. Like it got to 16, 1664. Um, I think that was the Valley was 1664. And people are like, wait, I can get pearly stuff. I need a play set of, uh, pearly for 16s cool i'll do that right um i mean the deck itself is still 515 bucks right uh, but if you're able to get it for get past the korean ones for 20 dollars, this is like 22 you can get a play set for 24 times 3 or 25 times 3 is 75 so you can get play set for like 75 it's not terrible considering that this card used to be not very long ago, 40. Like, it used to be a playset for 120, right? Um, and it could very well go back up in value uh, because I don't know what caused it to go up in value in the first place. So it could very well go up in value again. Um, no, Pearly is a very good strategy. Um, it's, it's, it's a little bit weaker because of the ban list. Um, but I don't know if it's going to get hit again, right? And that's, that's, I think, like the big thing with Pearly. Um, let's take a look at this card real quick. I uh, forget what it is. While you look for it, less than some unaffected, that's right. Once per turn, and it's a level 11, which is weird. Uh, R.A.P. Star Eater. Oh, Star Eater. Uh, let's return. You can pay 1,000. Target one monster your opponent con you control. One of your opponent controls. Banish them at the start. You can make this gain attack equal to the difference. Okay, that's right. I remember reading this card. I just wanted to reread it because I forgot what it did. Um, to be honest, because I don't really see it. Like, I guess Dynamorphia. How does Dynamorphia make this card? Wait, Dynamorphia can make this card? Why didn't anybody tell me? Because my first thought was Dynamorphia. No way. <laughs> they make it with Ash? This changes everything. Why did nobody tell me? And he's in the level eight. I mean, like Dinomorphia is actually a really solid strategy. Uh, the problem is, like, you 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 can't face somebody who slow plays. Like, you can't. Like, not at an actual tournament, right? And the thing is, with Dinomorphia, you're gonna. I don't think it's gonna be a coincidence that you will stumble upon more people who are slow playing. Like, I don't think it's gonna be a coincidence, right? And, and maybe as a Dynamorphia player, you have to be more assertive on that and be like, hey, stop slow playing. I know, you know, I know I'm playing Dynamorphia, but that doesn't give you a right to play as slow as humanly possible. Um, but for 163 bucks, and once again, we can do this again, see if this actually works. Um, obviously, I'm going to have quantity available. Why would you? I just don't understand. Get rid of the ashes then. Oh my goodness. This is this needs work. This needs some work. But it's okay. It's a cool concept to like look at a deck profile, click buy deck, and just go crazy. Um but uh feels like that should have it feels like if I click this button, the next button like I hit this button, the next button I should hit is like buy. Right. But anyway. Um Labyrinth was running this deck too, interestingly enough. Like, this card is not just a Dynamorphia card. Like, yes, it works really well on Dynamorphia because this and this 
can gain insane amounts of value, but it's just a good card in general. Like, you can if you can make this card, like, 11 is a weird number to get to, I'm not going to lie. Unless you have Ash and a level 8 monster. Um, but it, it's actually really easy to get out the level 8 monster. It's actually really easy to make this card. Um, I, I didn't even think of. I mean, I kind of figured they were using tuners, but I was wondering if there was just, like, some random level 3 tuner that they were running in Dynamorphia. But anyway, if you can get access to this card, activate its effect, now it's unaffected by things, right? And it can be a really, it could just be a wall that can just help you set up a board, right? Obviously, Kaijo, Sina Claws, Sphere Mode, Lava Golem, those are things. Um, but this card, as far as whether or not it's a good buy, uh, you get Near Mint for 15 bucks. From King Crabs, that's a fantastic buy. Um, but I was just really thinking, like, under 20. And, and I feel like you should pull the trigger. Um, it's a decent card. Um, anything that says unaffected by card effects is going to be really solid, right? Um, but level 11 is weird. That's the weirdest thing about this card is that, like, its level is the worst. <laughs> I mean, you can make level 11 synchro monsters, but you usually have to do some weird funky stuff like fusion summon, summon out a hand trap, and then make the level 11 monster, right? That's, that's usually what you have to do with a level 11 because it's a little weird, right? Um, and like I said before, RIP Star Eater. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. What are the best selling cards that you were looking at in all of Yu-Gi-Oh? Make sure you guys click that like button to show your support for the channel. Subscribe for more content. But most importantly of all, have a good day.